know when to go all out. You might plan your travel accommodations like a normal person, starting with the first night's stay and proceeding from there. I once followed this logic too. But that was before I understood that booking your last night first, in an otherwise irresponsibly expensive hotel, is much more rewarding. Because maybe you're not at the at the place, where you're booking the A's for a week straight me either or maybe you just prefer Airbnbs for both ease and design tips same. But if you're going to splurge on only a few things while you're away, make one of them a fancy hotel, one of the finest of adult luxuries there is, especially when positioned at the end of a trip. And to the budgeting, financial a sensible voice in your head, the answer is it's only one night. If you follow this plan, after a week or two days, or ten of being extremely modest in a modestly appointed Airbnb, your reward is something like an 800 thread count crash pad. It makes anticipating your arrival home and return to alarms, routines, your inbox, feel much less shitty, or at least considerably muted in terry cloth. It's rich person purgatory the plush space before your vacation truly ends, and your real life begins again, where fancy pools are at your disposal pick a pool any pool, and the ease of products flow freely. Regardless of where your trip has taken you up until this point, maybe you were airbending, or doing a little camping, maybe you were crashing with a friend, you should be deadly serious about this last night's luxury. Here's how to plan the perfect last night of your vacation. Be very clear that this night is not about practicality. And since you're booking your last night first, you haven't yet bought the entire Barrico ham leg you'll maybe regret later, so you're feeling flush. Use that to your advantage. You're looking for pools, rooftops, mini bars, impossibly hip staff, rooms that don't include ugly chairs or 90s purple duvets. Do not compromise. Future and offication you deserves this this is important these are your last souvenirs seek out the DAPA soap. Nice linens and more pillows than you need for a small family are a given. Deep tubs, double sinks, and low, flattering lighting in the bathroom are not, and you will require them. After failing to vet mine in my most recent list knife at all, I ended up with a sink in a completely different room as everything else. This was inconvenient, and this night is not about inconvenience. Check out the user submitted photos on TripAdvisor for the most accurate representation of what your room is going to look like. This one is simple the more you have to re-enter the real world for meals, the less time you'll get to spend in your robe. Also how often do you get to eat breakfast in bed and not clean up after yourself related leave at least a $20 tip for room service. You've already spent enough on markups and unless you are truly going all out, the wine in your mini fridge is probably less good than what you can get elsewhere. Hit a wine store on your way to the hotel, or do one better, and get a recommendation from the concierge, ask for something awesome and bubbly, and bring it with you. Fill up the fancy ice bucket in your room, chill at bedside like a fancy person, and toast, to you, you trip-winning human.